Oh, yeah, y'all niggas see it. <laughs> There's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Y'all know what it is, man. I get to use my sound effects before the interview. Because I know how y'all feeling about my sound effects. Fuck y'all niggas, man. You hear me? We in the building, man. I want y'all to pull up, man, before I bring this man on. Y'all have to pull all the way up. This is a goodie right here. I know y'all been waiting. I see y'all. Hit the like buttons, man. Hit that like button. There's too many people in here not to hit that like button. We got to make the algorithm jump on this one, man. Do me a favor, y'all. Do me a favor. Everybody, my, all my people's on the internets and shit. Do me a favor, man. Tweet this one. There's a special one. Drop that bomb one more time. I don't want no call-ups. I know y'all know the number already. I don't want to hear all that. Don't give me no call-ups, no none of that. All right? I need a little bit more people to pull up, and we're going to start this show. Y'all know how we give it up, man. Y'all been waiting, man. This is the big homie show, man. I've been sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry I let y'all y'all wait for so long, especially for this interview right here, man. But we here, man. We here. We here. I'm tweeting this out myself. Make sure we're going to get busy right here. Y'all want to see the big homie, right? Here we go. Bam. Right here. One more drop bomb. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody in the chat, man. Y'all pulling up. It's a Friday, TGIF. We in the building, man. You heard? Everybody getting off work and all that, man. Wanting to hear a great interview. But this is it right here, man. I got my man, man. He he's he's a legend, man. We fight all the time. We fight on the phone. We fight like all the like on, on social media and all that, man. But I can't do nothing but respect this man's handle. You understand what I'm saying? He's been putting it down for, like, many, many, many years. You know, we're going to ask him all the questions anybody else didn't ask him or haven't asked him. Hold on. Let me fix my motherfucking, uh, hold on, hold on, y'all. This has got to, I got to fix this right here. Bam. Okay. I'm Gucci. Don't worry about my damn bag in the back, all right? What's up? What's up? What's up? This man right here, man, he's a pillar in the blogging battle rap community, man. He's been doing big things, man. You heard? I'm ready to argue with this nigga, man. Here we go. My man Caps. Let's go. <laughs> I got this nigga. <laughs> What's going on, B? Y'all yeah, thought he wasn't going to show up. He showed up to the fight. He showed up to the fight. Yeah, I'm here. I'm always here for this. What's up, man? Number one, we're going to ask you what you smoking on. Because every time you get on, on, on one of your joints, you always announce what you smoking on, what you rolling. Gelato right here. What's that? Gelato. Gelato. <laughs> what the what? hell? What the hell is a gelato? You know, you talking about the ice cream joint that was gelato? What, what are you talking about? It, it's Bud, bro. What you mean? <laughs> Put that shit out, nigga. You can't smoke it till I'm smoking. What's, what's wrong with you? That's, I, I got to get money for you. I know how you get down. My man, Cash. What's going on, brother? How you been doing, man? Everything all right? Everything good. Everything look, look, good. That nigga got on black. I got on black. It's about to go down. Go ahead. I'm listening. Hold on. Rest in peace to the past day. Let me put that out there from the door. Um, For my understanding, a lot of people saying, um, I... We're doing mad past day interviews and all that, but I don't know if you look at things differently. Like, I want to do my blog to show love and then fall back like everybody more. And I didn't want to, like, milk the situation. You see what I'm saying? Yo. So I didn't have mad people come on and talk about past day, so. All right. Well, you said, you said, hold on. This is my this is my show. This is the big homie show. When you say milk the situation, what do you mean by that, sir? No. All right, boom. I'm saying this because, but remember, rest in peace, PH. When PH had passed away, I had a lot of people come on and talk about PH. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were trying to make it seem like I was doing it for the content, for the bread. Mm -hmm. And that really wasn't the case at all. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't want people thinking that in terms of past day now. With him passing, now I'm getting 20 people on to talk about him. I didn't want to do it like that. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, Well, you know, before we get to you, let's start off with that, man. You're a great connoisseur of battle rap, man. You know your battle rap. Like, when you first came on, we was like, this motherfucker knows his battle rap. Who is this nigga? With that said, 
what did what did PH mean to you? You know what I'm saying? Like this is your time to shine about how this situation is. I know you probably said something on your show, but you know, you free to say what the fuck you want to say on the big homie show. What did what did not PH not excuse me, PH, rest in peace, my brother PH. Right. Pat Stay. You understand? Cause I know we already talked about the PH situation, man. Rest in peace of my brother, but the Pat Stay situation, what did that mean to you as an angry fan himself? Yo, Pat, but what did Pat Stay mean to me yes, in terms sir. of battle rap? Yes, yes, sir. All right, boom. Look, I'm, I'll be dead real stressed. You got to understand something to be. I'm one of these dudes who stuck around for battle rap. I didn't just watch the Smack DVD era and then jump to URL. I was all in between. Mm-hmm. Pause. So, team, the, I was there from the beginning of grind time to the end of grind time. I was there for Elements. And when I first seen him on the Element League, it was like, who's this dude really is? Kind of crazy. He's snapping. Like, and then it's like he blew up. But I, I seen it coming. If you watched him on Elements, you already knew he was going to blow up. Mm-hmm. You already knew that. You know what I'm saying? And then when Brian Time fell off and then King of the Dot came on, like, bro, y'all got to remember how how Patch A was on King of the Dot at first. When Mav had to go over there, when Ed Ice had to go over there, mm-hmm. Arsenal, Marv won. Like, there was a reason why they was going over there battling him. Mm-hmm. No one, if he was that dude, he had Canada literally on his back. And this is back when Allahan was, was dope. Uh, 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 you still had Sharon, but, like, like we going back to when Jack shit was battling and whatnot on King of the I go, I go see what I'm saying? Too. I, we, that's, why, that's why we could talk because I know the same shit you know, nigga. Go ahead. Like we going back, back. So it's just like yo, you know, past statement a lot. Well, a lot of people feel like yo, he was like he meant a lot to the battle rap, but I feel like in terms of Canada, mm-hmm. really like, like really he he put him on his back, and then he went to the U.S. and solidified himself in the U.S. Even though I felt like he was already solidified. You know what I'm saying? There's not going to be another past day. You got to think about this, Debo. And shout to Shadi Horror, because I don't want to exclude him. Mm-hmm. But internationally, outside of the U.S., yes, sir. like, it's past day. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's past day. <laughs> Who else internationally has had that kind of a build? Nobody. So it's like, it's crazy, man. It's very yeah. unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay, with that said, man, shout out to Angry Fan. You on the big homie show, nigga. You're, you're a guest. You're not a blogger. You're not talking your shit to these dudes. We going to run down your history because I feel like you do deserve the flowers you deserve, and that's real talk. You know what I'm saying? I know we fight and fuss, and we go crazy on each other, but it's just so so much fun when we do that. But at the end of the day, we got to know your history. The fans have to know your history. Shout out to 15 Minutes of Fame for helping me run down the history of the great great ones and shit like that. And to me, you're a great one. So when I say that, let's start from the very beginning. Okay. Why did you name yourself Angry Fan? Because I was angry as hell at what was going on in battle rap. People was running around talking about how much money it was getting paid. They was choking in all their battles, wilding like they didn't care about nothing. And I'm like I just said, I've, I've been in battle rap too long. I ain't never seen that. They got a point to the way it was real ugly for battle rap, man. When they was, all they cared about was the bread. They was half as, they was, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is, is, is right in the same day in a battle. They didn't care. That's what made me come out of the angry fan. Then on top of that, to keep it a buckle shoe, because I started before the Lux and Hollow battle. I was you know what I'm saying? I had all the interviews going on and wasn't nobody battling. I was just fed up with that shit, bro. I'm going to be that real true. I love battle rap. Okay. So at that point, I was just like, oh, nah, I ain't got to get fed me. You know what I'm saying? And my aura, the way I deliver my shit, you know what I'm saying? Everything matched up with being angry fan and shit. So now, you my- now, you ain't start on video blogging, nigga. You started uh-huh. off. You still. You ain't start off video blogging yet. You was. You was. You was doing damage in the Facebook and um the Chris Unbiased joint when the well, Facebook. Not that part, Debo. That's the part that people don't know. They think, oh, okay, he started a YouTube channel and that, like, nah, 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 nah. You like, was getting your, name, you was getting your name up with all them comments you was putting under the Chris um Unbiased review uh uh face chat, say Facebook chat joint, but everybody was mean? in there when it was with uh Chris Chris Unbiased had a Facebook uh uh. Group chat where everybody was damn there in that shit. You know what I'm saying? You was you was hitting niggas. Bing, 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 bing. From, day one, from day one, I had solidified myself in that chat. That's the reason why they call me Cap. I went there. You can ask anybody who was in that chat, bro. I never typed in regular letters. I always typed in capital letters. Number mm-hmm. one. Saying so, people thought my keyboard was broken and all of that. I'm like, nah. Like I want to be different. When I talk, I want to be heard. I want to be one of you 
regular niggas out here kind of know battle rap. So I'm only typing in capital letters. That's how caps came about. Everybody thinks it's because of baseball caps and all that. Nah, it's because I type in capital letters all over social media because I want to be heard when I talk. You know what I'm saying? You was becoming a name with that by itself before the video blogging. We, you know what I'm saying? Because if the, if you know, if you all shout out to everybody in the chat, if you're in the coaching, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like at that point in time, there was just motherfuckers in there, like just getting, getting a name and a weight up around that time. So everybody knew caps. They knew who you were when you was typing and all that stuff. When did you decide to say, Hey, yo, let me try. I'm about to tell a story on your ass, nigga, but I want to see if you tell the right one. When did you okay. say, yo, let me turn on a camera and try my hand at this motherfucking blogging thing and shit? Number one to do this. What happened was that people were inboxing me. What happened was this right here. I was going back and forth with somebody in an unbiased group, a dude named, uh, like, Jory or something like that. Mm-hmm. Didn't do it. I don't know. I'm saying I forgot. I forgot. Y'all know who he is. Y'all know. Because he had a blog on URL on Big T versus somebody. But I used to always roast everybody on the Facebook group, so... He came at me in a video blog, and I had never did a video blog ever, so I'm like, oh, nah, you can't get this off on me, you know what I'm saying? So when I made a return this blog to him, my, like, everyone started flooding my inbox, like, yo, you need to make a YouTube channel, like, we thought your post was this, but your blog is like this, and I didn't want to do it. I'm like, bro, I'm over here doing road shot. I'm not thinking about doing no YouTube channel. What the fuck you talking about? I sound dumb as hell doing a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck you talking about? But everybody kept pressuring me to do it, to be honest with you. Right. So if I made one, then from there, it took off, to be honest with you. Right. I didn't want to do it. I never wanted to be a YouTube blogger or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Um. Yo, everybody in the chat, let me ask you a question. Can y'all actually hear uh, Caps and whatnot? Because they say you like in underwater Atlantis or some shit like that. Let me know if y'all can really actually hear them. And shit. Okay. They can hear you. Is audio good? Is audio good? He said it's the echo that made surf choke. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But nah, you know, I can hear you. I can, you know what I'm saying? You sound good to me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Extra poor. Hey, okay, got you. 15 minutes training, everything good. All right, so let me ask you this. So I won't throw myself off. I'm going to tell the story, nigga. Yeah, I got your ass. I got your ass right where the fuck I need you to be. Here we go. I remember somebody by the name of Caps called me on that phone and said, yo, man. Think I'm thinking about doing this YouTube thing, man. What do you think, man? You think, you know what I'm saying? You think I should rock and roll with it and shit like that? And I was like, yo, man, do your thing, man. Handle your business and get busy. You know what I'm saying? You got the personality and all that. You good money. Say I'm lying. Say I'm lying, nigga. Say I'm lying. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It could be true. It I don't know. True, I don't remember it, though. Go ahead. It, it is true, because I'm, I'm about to instigate some shit in here, nigga. This ain't going to be no regular whack. This ain't going to be no regular interview. Let me tell you something. As soon as you started that, you started getting some some little little envy, a little jealousy, you know what I'm saying, from other people that was doing kind of like the same thing you was like doing and stuff like that. So we're going to segue in from that to the, the angry fan slash Chris Unbiased Wars. Angry fan slash Chris Unbiased Wars that was going down. Hold on. Let's get it. <laughs> Hold on. Let's even better. Yeah, I was around for that, sir. Shout out to Chris. You said what? I was around for that, sir. Let's give some history. Hold on. Before we go there, let's do this. Let's do this. Because it, it's, it's, it will be, like, crazy not to say around that time when you was blogging, you everybody was on that angry fan wave. You was in the garage, mm. doing shit, acting crazy. I had an axe and all that. Before I get to the Chris shit, where the fuck did you get that mind state of having like, oh, this is how I'm gonna set it off. This is where I'm, I'm gonna go in the garage and act like a damn fool and 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 do my angry fan thing to the fans. Like, where did that idea come up? You know, what I'm saying that you you came up with. I'm gonna tell you, it ain't it didn't come up. What actually happened was, like my third fourth blog, I was blogging on daylight. And what he did to, was it 40 bars of low pressure? It was one of them. Mm-hmm. And I'm blogging, and there's like a table leg sitting by me. <laughs> and I just grabbed, I, was even, I just grabbed it like just swung at the camera. It wasn't premeditated or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I just did it. He liked it. You know what I mean? I'm just like, oh, hold up. I had a whole shed in the backyard full of tools, garden tools. So I'm like, oh, I could turn this into something. You know what I'm saying? If they like it like that. 
So I went and got the axe and got everything out the shed, threw it on the garage, and I went to work. Right. Right. And that and that right there just created the phenom that's known as Angry Fan Movement. Okay. But I was already angry. See, that's what people understand. They look at it like I was an angry fan because of the acts and all of that. Like, nah, 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 nah. The shit that I was saying is why niggas rock with me. The props and whatnot was added on entertainment. I meant every goddamn thing I said in them blogs. You see what I'm saying? So it it was it, it was okay in the in the the wittiness the shit that you was like you freestyled all that it wasn't scripted or none of that it was just right off the top of the all that all that that's a fact all that you ain't have to do double takes like oh fuck let me fuck fucked up let me do it again and you know what I do I, and I do it to this day I'll keep it real true. if I mess up in the first thirty seconds mm-hmm. maybe twenty seconds I'll do it over again after that I keep it going bro okay. 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 How not only I'm over a word or something like that. You see, ain't because I messed up. Right. Right. How hard is it? Well, it doesn't come hard to you. Um, extra uh, chill with that. Um, when, 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 when you when you when you're thinking about these things, they say like with Jay Z, right? He seems so effortless when he when he's spitting, like when he gets busy. It's like like it sounds like anybody could do it. But when you get on, when you when you in the booth. You find out it's hard as shit to do that. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, really get get those bars off like that. For you, why why is it so effortless for you to just like come at the at, at that camera the way you come at it and shit? Cause that's th- that blogging shit ain't easy. I ain't gonna say it. Hold you, nigga. I tried. It ain't that easy. I guess number one is because I wasn't looking at it like I'm a YouTube blogger. I was looking at it like, nah, this needs to be said because battle rap is looking crazy right now. I didn't give a mm-hmm. fuck about how I look. I give a fuck about the message being sent out. You know what I'm saying? Like, back when Smack wasn't doing pay-per-views, like, I was wilding about that. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, we can't even get to the events. I'm all the way down south. Like, you just start doing pay-per-views. Like, I was blogging on, on a lot of stuff mm-hmm. for Mad. You know what I'm saying? It's not about how I look. It was the message. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't be caring about people talk shit about me. I care about the message. As long as battle rap's in the right direction, mm-hmm. be good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get to that Chris shit, nigga. You gotta be prepared to have an answer. I'm just gonna ask you this before I get to that. This is, this needs to be asked. Why the fuck do you have such a crazy passion for fucking battle rap? You nut ass Yo. nigga. What what the Yo. hell is wrong with you? I don't know, my nigga. Like, we from New York. Battle rap. But the crazy thing. Hold on. Hold on. Before you answer. Hold on. Before, they, before you answer. This is the thing I want. Nigga, the way you love battle rap so much makes us love battle rap. If you, you kind of understand what I'm saying? Like, the passion that you have for battle rap makes us fucking care. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's up? Say it again? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Answer the question, nigga. Answer the question. We did this is this is our culture. What you mean? I fucking love battle rap, son. Especially back then, bro. You gotta stand. I remember being young as hell, being in Queens and East Elmhurst. Me and my cousin Tyshawn from Drew Hanson, all of us. We watched. Wait till when the power's over. We throwing the Smack DVD on. We going straight to the back to watch the battles. We battling freestyle in the basement. We, you know what I'm saying? You know what time it is. Come on, my nigga. Like you know, put like this. We in the in the eye with battle rap. But you know how it is in the streets. Everybody battles. If you can freestyle, you're going to battle somebody. Mm-hmm. You're going to do all, all that goes hand in hand, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just always gravitate to the battle rap. And like I said, once Smack has stopped and Fight Club has stopped, and with the Lions, then with none of that, like, yo, mm-hmm. bro, you still had grind time. I don't know how I stumbled upon them, but I, I was on them from the door from when they first started. So it was like it never stopped for me. Right. That's probably why I love battle rap so much. I never had a break from the motherfucker. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we gonna get the answer today, y'all. Here we go. I'm gonna set it up before he answer me. There was a time when blogger supremacy was at its all time high. Chris, there was a guy by the name of Chris Unbiased doing blogs and just killing it, killing the game. He was damn near the only one. Shout out to Jay Black. He was doing reviews at that time, if I'm correct. I know Jay Black will call me about that. But a guy by the name of Caps, a.k.a. Angry Fan, came into the game and was making noise. There was mm-hmm. there was rumblings, rumblings about who is the best blogger out there. And I'm telling you, this is the golden era. Damn these bloggers that's out here now, okay? You microwave, um, put on the camera ass bloggers. You heard what I said. 
Y'all heard what I said. Get mad. I don't care. But in this era, I'm telling you, you had to be that dude. It was for battle. It was for battle rap blogger supremacy. And these two cats right here felt the way about each other's rumblings in the air. Even the fans Wait, was at the. Hold on. Hold on. Let me real quick. I'm gonna say something that you're not gonna remember. Let me put this out there to, to, to help people even more. Okay. Y'all see me blog every day now, two blogs a day, three, three, three blogs a day. Go back then to 2013, 2012. He's blogging once a week. We was not doing this for the money. We was doing it for the culture. We blogged once a week. I'm the one who actually started blogging every day. Mm -hmm. I said, turn to uh, we're going to blog every day. Mm -hmm. No one, no, I, no blogging before me did that. Mm -hmm. Look at him, he's a blog whore. He's blogging every day. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I saw that every day situation. Like, keep going, keep going. And that's when the rumblings, the fans was like, nah, we gonna watch Caps and all that. And then Chris, I think, took a shot at you. And then y'all was going back and forth. Please, I'm gonna let you say it in your words. Heavy bag, stamp this right here. This is too important. This is for the culture. I'm gonna put it. Put, I'm gonna let you put it on your words on what happened with the, you, angry fan versus Chris unbiased, and who won in your eyes. Let's go. All right, all right. I'm, trying, I'm really trying to think how it started. To be honest with you, though. Um, I know I was in this group for mad long. Mm -hmm. Cool. I was cast. It was all good. Then I started the YouTube channel. From there, there was rumblings in the group. Mm -hmm. I know him. I talked to him. He even, Chris even told me um, to be real with you. I had even told him the idea that I was going to go to this show. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go to the show and pull all this shit out and start getting crazy on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knew about that. He was like, yo, you should do that. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, he might have been like, you got any other tools? Go do that. I forgot how the conversation went, but it was one conversation. So he knew about that. I forgot how it originally started. I'm gonna be dead real. I forgot how it originally started, but but it still was shade. Chris was throwing shade though. In my opinion, he was definitely throwing shade, and I caught that motherfucker. I seen it. I seen it. You know. Shout out to the, shout out to my man. Me. Shout out to my man Three Letter Man. He was there at that time too. Go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, but the thing about Three Letter Man was he was never in the Facebook group. Three Letter Man was only a personality on Twitter. So I pulled him off of Twitter. And I gave you the videos of them. Yeah, see, we were, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Let me get my shit. Where my, hold on. Because y'all want me to talk, talk? Because I don't do shit like you this. You want me to talk? talk. Because it's a big homie show. We always have real talk in the big homie show. That's why the numbers uh, is up. I need y'all to hit that like button. Hit that like button because there's too many niggas in here for y'all niggas not to be hitting that like button. Let's go. We're going to stop the fucking interview, man. Fuck all that. We're going to talk. Let's talk about That's that. a fact. You know what I'm saying? But, all right, so Chris... We were going back and forth. Of course, we was an unbiased group, so they all backed him. I started the angry fan group. He didn't want me to start a Facebook group uh, either. You know what I'm saying? He told me, like, yo, I'm starting a group, whatever. But I started the group because shit was getting really crazy at one point. And that was that. And then we, started, we went back and forth. Throwing, I seen the split shots he was throwing in his blogs at me. You know what I'm saying? I seen him. I seen him. I was trying to be quiet for that long. I seen him. And that's what made me come at the nigga. It wasn't like I was trying to get clouds from him or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So that uh, uh then we had the blog ball. As far as who won, you who won? Nah, nigga, you're not gonna do the you're not gonna go all the way over there to the end. This is what was happening. We was watching it. Yo, listen, this this rivalry between you and Chris was just as big as a damn. Yeah. You heard you sound crazy on my end, bro. I sound crazy on your end? It's still good? It's good? Nah, you sound like a robot. I sound like a robot? What about y'all? I sound like a robot to y'all? I'm good? What they saying? What they saying? What y'all saying? How I sound? That's probably, that's probably, hold on. I'm going to bring you in and bring you back out. Hold on. Don't go on. Hold on. Boom. Yo. Damn, you still sound. I go ahead. I'm trying to decipher this shit. Go ahead. Nigga said try to decipher this shit. Okay. Um. Damn. I don't want to mess this interview up. It's too good. Uh, like, I won. Huh? Put an I won. Uh, yeah, damn all that. Like I said, this 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 rivalry was like damn near like a real battle on the URL stage. Like everybody was just watching what was going on. Y'all was putting videos up back to back. It was you and you and you and um three letter man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas was giving out numbers and all that shit. Let's let's keep it a hundred. 
Let's keep it 100 out here. Rondell Alexander, thank you for your super chat. I appreciate y'all. I'm, I'm going to definitely get to, you, to you, get to you. But y'all was putting out numbers, you know what I'm saying, doing giveaways and all that shit. Back to back. It was, it was the first back to back blogging battle in the game. That's what made it so iconic. And you yeah, said, yeah, yeah. And you Yo, said, that's why I have the curse. Like, we was the first bloggers to go back and forth. Like, we was. No one, like, we was the first ones, bro. <laughs> That's crazy when I think about that shit. Did y'all? Did you learn anything from that? I always ask my my, my interviewees if they learn anything from that. Did you learn? Did I, did I learn anything about going back and forth with Chris? Yeah. Did you learn anything from that? Because you was going, you because it was damn near Ether, man. You was you did the what? What was that? You know what I'm saying? The takeover, Ether, and then what was the other joint? Super ugly. You just, you 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 you, 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 you come on. You and three did a super ugly. Y'all went a little bit too overboard. We was like, damn, Caps, come on, son. Get a mix you get. That was Piper Boy you talking about. With Chris, you, yeah, that was Piper Boy you talking about. That was Piper Boy. That wasn't Chris. Got gotcha. you. We're going to get to that then. We're going to get to that. But even with the Chris joint, um, this yeah, oh yeah, that's right. We gonna go through your whole resume. Even with the even with the Chris joint, y'all was going back and forth crazy. And you said you felt like you won. Why you felt like you won that blog war? Yo, I felt like I won that blog war because, boom, he felt like he had me because I don't edit. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of the shit that he was saying in his blog was not true at all. Mm-hmm. So that's when I had Tom Big, the editor, and we came back with the blog that I made. At first, I had made an unedited blog in the garage saying, I'm going to fuck you up when I see you. Da, 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 da. I was on the way to work. You know what I'm saying? And I was, yeah, I threw it out. Was niggas crazy. Like, that, that was Remember that? violence. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I'm not catching him. I'm going to fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. I was wild if I had just called into that shit. Mm-hmm. But then I got big because I had proof that everything, like, he was not keeping it real in that blog. You know what I'm saying? He was saying shit like, I forgot it was so long ago, bro. It was inboxes he had that wasn't real. Mm-hmm. And I had to prove So Tom Big hit me up and shout out to Tom Big at the time. At the time and we made that blog going back at him responding. Right. So I feel like I was, because it was like, yo, you didn't even come at me. You, like, fabricated mad shit to even start something. You thought you took me out and you definitely didn't because I proved in my video that the shit you were saying wasn't even true. Right. So I feel like I won. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go here with it. I'm going to go here with it. I want to ask you this shit. Before but I, shall be, I mean, we cool now. But yeah, that's ahead. a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Before I get to your second, your second war. <laughs> You are what? no, you are no holes bar. I'm gonna say what the fuck I want to say. Right, that was the blog, and then like you said at the time, see, this is where I feel like the hate was coming from to be real, because Let's it was it. blogging. You gotta understand, son, people. Let's get it. All the other bloggers out there, mm-hmm. right? We have bloggers. Then I started Angry Fans Radio. That's true. So Angry Fans Radio. That changed everything there. Now you ain't just a blogger. And that's back when um uh Battle Rap Arena was out. Battle it was me, Three Letter Man, and Timbo. Timbo. Our first guest was moved like we took off like wildfire. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And radio changed a lot of shit with this right here. That's a fact. Because when I started doing the show is when I stopped blogging. Because mm-hmm. I wanted to concentrate on the show. And then the show took off. That's why I be felt like, man, these niggas can't touch me on here, B. Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't blogging our concrete, my nigga. It was, it was that and the radio show. Mm-hmm. Came now, back and he got niggas with Instagram. So yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. And I'm, I'm gonna give you your I'm gonna give you your flowers for this because you need to. You need you need them. Even when you was talking all that shit, crazy talking like a nut, like a nut ass freak ball. You came outside. Yeah, you was outside. Remember Philly? Philly was crazy. They had nothing but they had nothing but super thugs and niggas was holding hammers and I say yo these niggas is wild out here man <laughs> that, that's when easy to block a lot of people don't know easy, easy to block captain actually battled Soy Sever and that's when we was outside and shit like that um what made you not scared to come outside like you know what I'm saying like I'm still talking to my shit I'm still out here nigga you had that you had a target on your shirt you had an angry fan like this nigga every time I went to an event I wore an angry fan shirt it's not about being tough or whatnot I understand. Niggas are going to see you on YouTube or whatever, and they're going to want to see you in person. That's the reason why 
I wore the angry fan shirt, so there really is no confusion. Not saying I want an issue with niggas, but you're not gonna say, "Oh, I didn't see him with no shit like that." Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not scary, bro. Like niggas be talking that shit online. I let them talk. I'm not scary. I'm really not. If you win a fight, you win a fight. I'm not scared, bro. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to come out. And then I, I done went everywhere, bro. From New York to the fucking... I done been to Alabama twice doing this shit. Mm-hmm. Fucking... You see what I'm saying? Like, like everywhere. So it's not about that. And besides, it's not like I used to trash niggas just to trash niggas. Mm-hmm. If you do bad in the battle, you don't show up in the battle. You do you you clearly losing back to back. I'm going to talk on it. Right. I'm a, I mean, it is what you you should know that. Right. Right. Do you feel like the people generated gravitated skills be toward you more than any other buck? Cause they feel like you was like didn't give a fuck about whose feelings was hurting or none of that. You gonna say what you gonna say? I mean, I don't really feel like they gravitated towards me more than any other blogger to begin with. Look, boom. People gonna. I'm always gonna say the same thing. If mm-hmm. you ask me, Jay Black is no more blogger. Because Jay Black does things I know I would I don't have the patience to even do. Right. You see them? So I feel like people gravitate towards him, if anything more. You know what's crazy about it, B? Mm-hmm. But I, thought, but I really didn't even know who Jay Black even was. Mm-hmm. Weird shit about all of this. I didn't even know who he was like that. I know he did reaction, that's it. Right. But they gravit- he was smart enough. He was smart enough to do he was already getting wild views off the reactions. Yes, he was. But once he did Champion, which was an in-person podcast setup, that was super smart because prior to that, I feel like I had it on lock mm-hmm. because I had it on but I also had MV Fans Radio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there's no other radio show out there bigger than MV Fans Radio. Mm-hmm. So you couldn't, you really couldn't tell me nothing back then. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. I'm top three in both categories. Like, what well, top two to three in both categories, what can you really tell me? Now you said- so I don't gravitated towards me more than the other box. Got you. Now, I'm going to go to the tri... I call it the trifecta. That's you, Chris, and Jay Black. But I'm going to go here first before I do that, right? Angry Fans Radio, which was a phenomenal, big staple in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? You got awards from the source and all that shit. Actually, back to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so you're coming back then. You're coming back with Angry Fans Radio. It's going to be different, though. It's gonna go ahead. Be- okay. What made you want to start Angry Fans Radio, the blog talk? Because you said Battle Rap Arena was around. That was probably your only competition at the time, I guess, you know what I'm saying, before you came through and shit like that. Like, what made you want to start Angry Fans Radio? Yo, here's what's crazy about it, right? I never listened to Battle Rap Arena like that. I listened to, like, two of their shows, Tops, before I started Angry Fans Radio. Mm-hmm. What happened, I was blogging, and everything was blowing up and all that, whatever the case may be. I remember Three Letter Man hit me on Twitter. So three hit me was just like, yo, da 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 I fuck with your blogs. I had no clue who he was. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I didn't do for that at all. Mm-hmm. So all that, then he shoots me his mouth. I call him. And then he's just like, we kicking him. We vibing on the phone. Like, oh, this nigga like battle rap like me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. We on the phone for hours and all that shit. So I'm like, man, it would be dope. If you had a radio show, we could do this on air. Because if you remember, I did a recap in the garage. And I had three letter man on my other phone on speakerphone. That's, that's kind of, that was before Angry Fans Radio, but it was already headed in that direction when I did that. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, I'm blogging with another phone with someone else talking through the phone, giving you his, you know what I'm saying? It was already going in that situation. Got you. So then it hit me out of nowhere. Timbo called me. I should have seen the red flag, but Timbo called me out of nowhere. I had no clue who this nigga was. He's like, yo, we can do a show. Now, when I you say red to- flag, just for y'all who don't know, that's not, that just joined the battle rap. Uh, uh, culture, uh, guy named by the name of Timbo. Uh, he's a Caucasian brother. You know what I'm saying? And he helped uh, wanted to start Angry Fans Radio along with uh, him, Three Letter Man, and and Caps. So you know, I'm guessing he's going to go to explaining as to you know the situation. But go ahead, Caps. My fault. Yeah, nah, you wanted me to explain the situation. What happened? That was no why. Right. Go ahead, let's go. Yeah, but anyway, so Tim hits me out of nowhere. He's like, yo, we can we can take over the, the airways if we do a radio show. Now, mind you, I don't know who Tim is, but me and Threes or we already talk about doing the show. We just, we just, we just trying to figure out how to run the boards at this point and how to get it started. Right. This thing come Timo came out of nowhere, like right on time with that. You see what I'm saying? So he's just like, yo, we can take it over. Da, da, da. I got the contacts. I can get moved. I can get so it's just like, oh wait a minute, you can do what? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it might work right here. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, what I didn't know was that he hit up Chris and Bias to do a show and Chris turned him down. Mm. I didn't that and Chris made the vlog. Mm. Okay. If I hadn't even that, I would have never even did that show. Okay. Because now it's like, you ain't doing it because of the AFM movement. You just trying to get your foot in the door. You wouldn't give a fuck who it was you did it with. You see what I'm saying? Let's go. If you come to the person, then I don't want to do it. But I didn't know that until after Chris made his vlog. Mm. I wish he did that prior. We would have never even did it like that. You know what I'm saying? Got you. But um, so Chris, so so Tembo starts the YouTube channel. He does the blog talk. And at first it was lit. It was super lit at first. You know what I'm saying? Everything got fucked up when he had verb on, and Tembo was cool with caustic, mm-hmm. and he put caustic on. When verb said he didn't want the nigga on, you know what I'm saying? Like clearly. He yeah. called, like, we, we asked him, do you want him on? Verb said, nah, if you, if you come on, if, he, if you bring him on, I'm hanging up. He said some shit like that. Right. And do this nigga on anyway. And then Verb hung up. So I'm like, yeah, what the fuck is you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm live. <laughs> so I guess everybody heard it and shit. Right, right. So I guess I guess from there, him and three had their conversation behind the scenes. Like, yo, we don't need caps in. And then we can do this and that. Shout out to three. I'm cool with three, but we don't keep it real. We don't keep it real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... They changed the, the, the YouTube to PSA radio and shit. Now, look. I could have fell back right there. I said, man, I'm just going back to vlogging. That shit had me so tight, son. I said, oh, now nah, we start another bang. <laughs> I want so I want this shit that you, like, nah, this is not about y'all. It was because it was of me. I want to show niggas that. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's my came back with, uh, well, Henny Man and Wayne, mm-hmm. shout out. Remember, we think for a couple years, and after that, it was somebody else in it. I think Henny Man left. The Blueprint came on. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Blueprint left. Then Tony Bro came. Then Tony Bro came. Mm-hmm. Then Bro and uh, damn, it's hard to say. Nah, that's not what Tony Bro came because Tony Bro and Polo and Drizzy, all that shit happened. When uh when Wing and was it Blueprint? They were still on the show when that happened, to right. be honest with you. Right. Still on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like with Snake Eyes with the phone battles and all of that. Like they were still on the show when that happened. So it's not like Tony Brown came afterwards. But after everything situated, I, I stuck with Tony Brown all of me to uh the main man. Let me ask you ask a question. What's up? Out of all your people that you work with and shit, because you're a bad businessman, man. You just you just fuck up all your employees and shit. They all leave your ass and shit like that. Yeah, I said that shit, nigga. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I can't hear you. What you said? What you mean? Everybody left me. Everybody there leave me. Everybody leave your ass, nigga. I'm the yo. Let me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Out of the two most famous out of the two is Tony Bro and Three Letter Man, because they still around doing their thing. Out of the out of which out of the two you had the most fun doing Angry Fan Radio with? Damn, you said the most famous? No, out of which out of the, I said they the they the most famous ones that come out of Angry Fan Radio. You know what I'm saying? Also shout out to Wing and shit like that. But you know, obviously See, I, we're gonna keep it all the way real. I don't know. Because Wayne's throwing leagues over here. They're not doing that. Right. The most accomplished has been Wayne. Now, the most okay, famous. So, no, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. So let me revise the question. Because I threw Wayne in there because she's been doing her thing. Shout out to Wayne. So, okay, okay. So, out of the three, because I, I did it because it's a male thing. But, you know, let's, let's, get, let's, you know, I'm Debo, Queen of the Ring. You know what it is. Give it up for the ladies. So, out of the three, three letter, man, three letter man, Tony Bro and Wing, which out of the three you had the most fun doing Angry Fan Radio with? Yeah, but you changed the whole dynamics. I guess I did. You know what I'm saying? Wayne played a big part of Angry Fans Radio, so I would have to say her automatically. You see what I'm saying? On the strength, to be honest with you. But if you take her... And oh, you broke up. Say it again. I said we was to take her out the equation and leave that Tony Bro and Three Letter Man. It's weird because I, was, I didn't do a show with Three Letter Man nowhere near as long as I did a show with Tony Bro. You see what I'm saying? Mm. On top of that, like me and T Letterman was the main 
the main nigga talking. Tempo didn't really talk like that in that show. Right. When with Tony Bro, it's me, Tony Bro, with Tony Paul. The whole black comp is plus me. Mm-hmm. You see that? So now you got four, you got four or five different personalities versus it just being me and uh, three. But me and three clicked. Mm-hmm. I can even say three, man, because that's when it really first started, bro. I really want to say three at that. Yeah, it was three like that. You and three was wild in that time. Y'all, y'all niggas is just wilding for no reason. Niggas didn't even know. They, they couldn't even tell us apart who was going so crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I would say it was three probably be. Okay. Now I know you had your fallouts with with, with said uh, people, but you also you know rekindled and you know repaired the relationship, if you will. Like, are you actually proud of like the black compasses and the and the PSA radios and what Wing is doing and stuff like that? Are you proud of these people that's going on and doing their thing? Well, am I proud of them? Mm-hmm. What you mean? Nigga. Oh, do you think about some hating ass nigga who's just like, man, they don't make with me. I wish they wasn't in battle rap. Right, because right, you's a hater. Go ahead. Are you proud? I'm going to keep all the way real with you. That shit come right back to me anyway. So hell no. Salute to... I feel like this. I low-key feel like this. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> Get them likes up. Get them likes up. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, uh, hate up. Fix your, fix your phone, but, man. Fix your phone. Bro. Fix I your feel fo- good. Fix your because... phone, hater. Fix your phone. Oh, my fault. Look, 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 look. I'm afraid of all that, people. We ain't, oh, no, 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 fix your phone. We ain't doing that. You, you ain't gonna get it your way. This, this is the big homie show. He, he, ain't, we ain't going forward until he fix his phone and y'all get them likes up. Cause we, we there's a gang of niggas in here and them likes is not up. Let's go get them oh, likes up right now. No, dude. We ain't, saying, we ain't saying nothing until we get 200 likes. That's my word. Look, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I'm definitely proud of all of them. It makes me feel good because I ain't bring no suckers into battle rap. You see what I'm saying? Right. You can't be crazy about none of the niggas. Also, I, I put nothing but niggas in position to get money. Niggas all, like, so I'm good. Mm-hmm. I don't feel bad at all. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So, you know, do, when you when you see them doing their thing, do you look at it like, yo, that's an extension of me out there. Look at that. That's that's dope. That's such and such yeah. or whatever. Yeah. That's a fact. I'm not saying I, I put like this. I put you on the map. You took the ball and ran with it like you supposed to. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Now, if you fell back and just, you was, you was associated with niggas, and then you just fell back and did nothing with that, I mean, that's on you right there. You know what I'm saying? There's only but so much I can do. Now, let me ask you a question when you say put them on a map, because I'm going to ask it for myself as well. Shows and shit like that. We all talk about a lot of shit up here. Fuck right. that. I feel like talking about shit now. You know what I'm saying? As far as these other shows, niggas who do what I do, they can't fuck with me anyway. So I like when they do what they think because it motivates me. Yeah, yeah. I said it. I, they can't fuck with me anyway. That's how I really feel. Like, it motivates me. Now, let me ask you a question. It's, it's kind of geared towards me too. When you say put put people on and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I I feel like I shouldn't say that when I, when I talk about you know what I'm saying the female battle rapper because I don't want nobody to take it a certain way to be like yo I put them on I help them out and do such and such. Is that a bad thing to say? Because what you're saying is shit it sounds kind of right. Like you know what I'm saying you actually help people get to where they get into and shit. Hey, I don't think I, why is it a bad thing to say? It's what, it's what happened. If someone puts a microphone. In front of Tony Bro, or in front of the letter man, or in front of anybody else, I was with, they was just like, who has a name, a status in battle rap right now? And they're like, yo, how'd you get into battle rap? My name gonna come up, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you fronting? Mm-hmm. My name gonna come up. So it's just like, ah, nigga, I want these niggas to win this shit. Fuck all that. There's no point in it. Like, hate on niggas for what? There's no point in that. Right, right. You think I forgot, nigga? You think I forgot what I'm about to ask you? No, I was waiting for it. Angry fan, what? angry fan versus Piper Boy. Hold on, wrong, wrong one. Angry fan versus Piper Boy. Well, shout out to Piper Boy. I fuck with Piper Boy heavy. Piper Boy, I Piper Boy is smart. I if you want to the buck, <laughs> I, I fuck with that guy too, man. I just want to know the, you know, how it started, how the fight got to the. There was no fight. That's the whole shit about. That's why he's smart. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, for my heat, I think he said. I think he said he was in my Facebook group, and I said something to him. I don't. I, I forgot. I don't even know how it started. To be real, it was just like I almost he kept blogging on me, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just kept blogging on me. And I was ignoring that shit. He just kept going and going and going every goddamn day, and then we wound up going back and forth. Damn, that shit was so long ago. That's how long niggas been in this shit. That shit was mad long ago. I'm trying to like. We gonna keep, we gonna keep we gonna keep it a hundred though, man. Shout out to Piper Boy, but we gonna keep it a hundred, nigga. You you took the gloves off, my nigga. You was extra wildin', and you took the gloves off. Yes, you did. Can you say what you did when you took the gloves off, sir? Can I say what I did? When I took the gloves off. When you took the gloves off, I, I was going back and forth. Someone had sent me that. Someone that said you. you someone that sent you what? What did they say? Video. Piper Boy was on some type of platform where I guess you get paid for jokes or for being funny or some shit like that. I don't. I don't know. I think it was some shit like that. And someone has sent me the video. This is after I had already did a blog on him. They sent me the video and was like, "Yo, this is him." And I was just like, "Oh shit, nigga, we gotta use this." You know what I'm saying? So we did another one the next day on him. That's where the back to back shit came from. You know what I'm saying? But in all reality, I feel like Pipe Boy's actually the smartest blogger because no one had an issue with him. You see what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. YouTube sell. So once me and him went back and forth, that note started coming at me. His nigga stuff started climbing like a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Smart man. He, smart man. He smart. And that's what got him slid. And then he, he was in the game after that. And then he put his own hard work in and then, you know, he's here now. He got like 3,000 subs now. Uh, shout out to him. Shout, shout out to him because I feel like he was he self made himself, not like where you know. I mean, it, it, it's it's still all good. You know what I'm saying? If you springboard off a platform, because I'm springboarding off a platform, 15 minutes of fame. But I gotta give it to Piper Boy because he had his own channel. He worked it. He he shut it down for a minute and came back with a vengeance. And got uh, this. Then it's like the way he was doing his shit because this is back when niggas is not really editing and shit. You know what I'm saying? So he 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 throwing Charlie Murphy in there and and you know what I'm saying it was like it was different and that's a little thing solidify him his hard work solidify him after that but that got him in the game so I feel like he's kind of the smartest one. Now that put him that put him where do you place him from the old school era of blogging from the new school era of blogging because he came at a time where it was just it wasn't that many bloggers still like it it, it was just. You, Chris, and Jay Black getting crazy and shit. Respect to all the other ones that was trying to do it, but we know prominently yeah, then those names is out. You had CJ City, but I think he CJ had City. Shout out to my guy CJ City. That's I remember him. CJ City is my guy. But he you had, had Dan, rap. She had stops. I don't know if you remember her. She was like pretty much the only female who was all black. Who was that? Who was that? Who you said? Dana. I remember. You remember Dana, man. She was a man, she do all these dudes before me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for the most part, yeah, it was me, Chris and Bias, Jay Black. I would think at this point, obviously Pipe Boy from before. Okay. But I wanted to change that shit. Like, yeah, Pipe Boy's there at this point. Okay. This is why this is wild. I want to go somewhere. Go ahead. Keep asking ask your questions, B. Oh, I got some questions for you. Here we go with the bullshit. This is my show. He got some questions for me. Um I'm blaming you, nigga. I'm putting oh. the blame on you when I say this shit. Because you're going to take that blame. I gave you the flowers. The flowers is over, my man. Flowers done. Okay? Okay. Okay. All these new, microwavable, crazy-ass nut niggas that's out here blogging today is because of your nut ass. You understand what I'm saying? How? I always tell you when I'm on the phone, what do I always tell you? I say, yo, you ever seen the Gremlins? You're like, yeah. Remember Gizmo when you put water on Gizmo after 12 and then all these motherfucking Gremlins start springing out of nowhere and shit? That's your ass. You're How Gizmo. You You're Gizmo because they got all these none of those fucking bloggers out here talking crazy out here. And we know the fuck. Oh, we know, how do you look we know that who, who, was, who was the first one. Oh, we said, don't put that man on your what you call it. You're going to give him a name, and he's going to springboard off of that, and it's going to be all hell breaking loose, and, and it's going to be a bunch of shit going on. What? Your man, Battle Truth. You know who I'm speaking about. He was, what the, about number, he was the number one dude that you gave a whole lot of uh, 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 radio time to, and, and, and you thought it was funny, and then it wasn't funny no more. 
and we blame you. The battle rap culture blames your ass, your nut ass. Thanks a lot. Hold up. Number one, you got to be honest here, B. Whatever be a Battle Truth collab, shows were classic. Like, when they were classic, bro. All right? Like, let's, let's not do that. Not like, <laughs> I collab with him, boy. Like, no. And then on, he didn't know what he was talking about all the time at first. Mm-hmm. But what I can say about Battle Truth is, He's kind of like me. When we stuck on a point, we stuck on that point. Like, we ain't trying to handle no we wrong type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why it was always dope. You guys, like, here's, here's one thing I can say about Battleship too, right? Is that he literally came into the game and became a household name with no help. You got to understand something here, bro. Even I was in Chris and Bias group. That nigga came out of fucking how nowhere. Can you, how can you say he, he came out of nowhere, but he springboarded off of your name? But but, no, no, but that's only because he came out of nowhere and started blowing up. Okay. That's I'll, all. I let, you, I let you give him his flowers for if that's what you want to do. I'm nah, it's true. I, I, got, I got to be honest with you. What I think, I was, what I think was ori- what, I, what I think is original and dope that I will give him his flowers is the judge shit, the um, the robe and all that. Yeah. Fire, fire. That's I'll what I'm saying. I give him that fight. That, that that made him stand out. The blogs, I don't know, but that made him stand out. You know what I'm saying? And he was the he, nut, he, he was the, the best. Best. So his first second blog was on Sue Surf. It had like 74, 75 thousand views. Me and Chris weren't getting them kind of fucking numbers, bro. Oh, you are. We wasn't getting kind of numbers, bro. We might get out 20, 25, but like I was looking like, what the fuck is who's this nigga? Not even on some hate. Now I'm paying attention to him. You see what I'm saying? 75,000 views is a lot for an unknown blogger. <laughs> so you got to give him props on that right there. You have to. Him versus Chris Unbiased and shit, toe-to-toe. And, you know, you've seen, you seen them going back and forth. Who you think won that? Is it over? Let's just, it's over now. Let's just say it's over. Who you think won? Mm, here's the thing about it, bro. Here's the thing about nothing. Who you think won? Don't be hiding and ducking these questions. Because Battle Truth don't be real about this. When he came into Battle Rap, he was taking shots at all the bloggers from the door. Jay Black, Chris, and me. He's coming at all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, these, these bloggers don't be keeping it real. And da 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 I'm just the nigga who said, man, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I reached out to that nigga like, all right, like, what's going on? You know, I want to know what the fuck going on. Because I see you taking shots at us. You know what I'm saying? And then we talked. We got cool and shit. I don't know what his issue was to even begin with to even come at niggas. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say is it over with because Chris never did nothing that I know of to battle truth. Never. He was coming at Chris, man. Stop lying. Bro, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Chris never did nothing to battle truth. So oh. I never understood why he was just coming at niggas the way he was coming at niggas. We're on the same page here. Okay, so let, 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 let's get to this transit. Let's transition to this. With that, we just said it's called views. Every blogger okay. out here, they need views to win, right? Okay. Yeah. Now your ass, you have a yeah. you, you have a habit of this drama circulating over angry fans' name. Period. So what? with that said. All the, the all the deplorables, all the niggas that's the, the, the bottom feeding niggas that just want to talk crazy on your show and shit like that, come on your show and talk reckless, and you let them. It's like you, it's like you let the damn door open, and everybody from the Arkham Asylum started running out into Gotham City. What is your damn problem? Why do you allow these dudes just to come on your channel and talk crazy? You're just lazy. That's what I know about you. You're lazy, and you just don't want to vlog no more. So you just cut the camera on and just say, oh, such and such is here. Okay, talk crazy. Give me 15 minutes of crazy talk. What's up? Yo, are they not getting bags off of that? You know what? I can't. Are they not getting bags off of that? I can't. How many girls got booked that's... Avin B dot hello that started on my platform. I pulled up when I had B dot on and said respectfully, I'll take the battle. Let's do you know it got booked. What are we talking about here, bro? Do you know how many battles I booked right before your eyes in the last year after coming out of a rehab for a whole year? Are you fucking crazy, bro? What was the best battle you think you instigated uh 
got done to fruition, got, you know, got set up? What was the biggest battle you said you think got set up that you feel like you instigated and started? The biggest battle I thought I instigated and started that got set up. Damn. Yeah, got you. Yeah, you kind of got me on this one right now. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, okay. Well, Snake Eyes and Henny Man set up. It got to be a Snake Eyes battle. It's probably a Snake Eyes battle. Because I like getting that nigga on. I ain't going to lie. I'm thinking Snake Eyes and Henny Man maybe. Because that was... You got to understand, I was getting mid-tier niggas on, bro. They was going crazy to the point. The views was 30,000, 40,000. An uh, interview. Like, what? So you feel like you was doing face-offs before the face-offs or face-offs doing that? You feel like your face-offs was the best face-offs and shit? Are you fucking crazy? I'm asking you. I was doing face-offs before Instagram. What are you talking about? We've been doing face-offs on Angry Fans Radio forever. Go look at Take the Demon versus Sway face-off. Got what, 40,000, 50,000 views? What are you talking about here? I've been doing face off, bro. We've been on this shit. Charlie Clips and Howard the Don. How are what we talking about? I got mad face offs on Angry Fans Radio channel, bro. I got mad shit I instigated. Up. What, what the? Come on, man. That face off shit, I own that shit. I feel like I own that shit. Okay, okay. Talk your talk, Caps. What yeah. are you talking about? I'm, but I, I'm going I ain't probably about the but like, bro, the, the work show. I've been doing face-offs. That ain't nothing. I'm going to ask you this. You ready? All right. I'm getting mad you even asking me shit like that. That should be obvious. What? I got should you. Be LV, thank you for the super chat. I got you. Give me a quick second. I got to ask him this, though. Why you instigated that shit between me and Queen Flip and ARP, man? Oh! Hey, did I instigate it? I don't know how it started. I don't know how you and Queens. Let me, let, let, listen, see, since you want to put this out there, now we want to keep it all the way real. Because you and Queens flip mm-hmm. was just biased towards URL. And you still are. Um, you know what I'm saying? I want to give you a chance to, to, to do what you. Okay, so you're not saying anything. All right, I'm just making sure. You know I'm what I'm saying? Just listening. So, I'm just listening, I'm, Playboy. Go ahead. I'm just listening. Go ahead. I told you I was definitely biased towards URL. So ARP came on and y'all tried the double team. You know what I'm saying? That's actually what happened right there. And it was, let's be serious. We had that whole day locked down. What are we talking about? That's a fact. We went, we went super viral. Like everybody at work was listening to that shit. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? It was like, what, four hours long? Mm-hmm. On Blog Talk Radio? So it was just like. I, I don't think it's, it was we try to jump them. Me and, me, 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 me and ARP was going back and forth, and then Queen's Flip came on to talk crazy, crazy. And I just let him talk crazy. That was on, that was on Queen's Flip. I let him say and do what he was doing. And then I made the comment about the um, about the debatable in the snow when both of them was fighting and whatnot in uh, Canada and shit like that, and then all hell broke loose. Let me ask you this. Keep it up. Debo, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Why don't you like ARP? You never liked them. Why don't you? Why you don't like them? I never liked them. Who said that? I mean, why you don't like them? No, we was cool at one point. Okay, so why? We was real cool. I, this is like to, you keeping a hundred. We was just doing a lot of back and forth about behind the scenes about how shit should go as far as like being acquaintances, if you will, and shit like that on things I should say or shouldn't say and shit about his league, vice versa, and all that. And, you know, he felt the way about certain things I said. Probably, probably I think I mentioned something in um, Queen Flip car and shit when he had the car interviews and stuff like that. He wasn't digging that. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't digging the fact that, you know, he was just kept coming at URL when it was unnecessary to do so and shit. <clears throat> I remember we had a conversation and I said, don't you want to be number one? Like he said, I don't want to be number one and shit. I'm good at where I'm at being number one. I said, you're bugging. Because if, if nigga asked me that question, I want to be number one. You know what I'm saying? So I know you're capping there. You understand what I'm saying? So that's after that. That's when that rivalry started happening. I knew he was capping. I said, yo, my nigga, you want to be number one. Like, who who don't? It's okay to want to be number one and shit like that. So a little knickknacks here and there was going back and forth to whereas we was just like, you know what I'm saying, not seeing eye to eye. So I just we just left it at we. I think we had one big blow over the phone and that we just left it at that. Okay. I'm just saying because we know how you are when it comes to – other leagues booking ballers, like you don't, but booking your female ballers, it you was, don't play that. Because it was, it was Savage Land back then. You know that we was all savages. We did, we couldn't control ourselves. We was like, yo, 
I don't want you to sit here and say, nah, man, what you talking about, man? I'm no. glad you keep it real. All right. Nah, we were savages. You know what I'm saying? We was trying to get that. We was trying to get to the bag, man. You know what I'm saying? And sharing all your talent ain't going to get you to the bag. Yeah, but you were, I mean, yeah. Uh, sharing, sharing all your talent ain't gonna get you, nigga. I had arguments with ARP. I had arguments with Beasley. I had arguments with whoever you want. With uh, King of the Dot, not necessarily organic, but I had arguments with everybody. There's a damn rumor going around saying King of the Dot won't book no female ballots because you know what I'm saying they scared of what the hell I'm gonna do and shit. Like it's crazy. It's not my fault, but it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, believe- I want you to answer this. Keep it a hundred. I ain't even going I'm gonna keep it so one hundred. I'm not even gonna stop you. If you say the thing I don't, I don't feel like I don't I don't like particularly like that time when he, uh, when there was a fight at uh BB Kings and I was I, I got my I was gonna get my quit on like I'm getting the fuck out of here fuck this shit and I had the, my voice was dumb horse and shit you know what I'm saying remember that okay yeah your man put out a blog as if I was crying on the phone. Was I actually crying on that phone when I was talking to you over the phone about the BB King situation and all that shit when I was speaking to BZ and just on on the interview period? You said you talked no, about Angry Fans Radio. Yeah, yeah, Angry Fans. It's not what I said. We can't quote word for it verbatim. I'm asking, you know, was I crying yeah, on the phone? Who's your man? Who are you talking about? I'm talking about ARP. He did the blog about you know what I'm saying as um as if. Painting the narrative as if, it's, as if I was boohoo and crying and shit. Was I literally crying on the phone? On Angry Fans Radio? Yes. When we yes, yes, had the, uh, you know uh, I mean. yes, on Angry Fans Radio, nigga. Was you crying? Yes. Was I? You want me to do this? Keep it on there. Yes. It's still up. What do you mean? Yes. You was crying. I wasn't crying, nigga. My voice was hoarse, nigga. You was crying. Crying like boohoo tears or I was like, like, Emotional, you, like this was next to you, but you were definitely sniffling and crying. And shit. Yes, you yeah, was. I wasn't sniffling and crying. I'll knock you out, nigga. Don't yes, you was, me. bro. <laughs> don't, do it, don't do that. Yes, you was. You was very. But listen, you was real emotional. Yeah. You was quitting. That's why. That's why I had everybody call up. So yeah. you didn't quit. Yeah. Nah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. You was going to your PMS stage. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I wasn't though. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. But you was crying. Yeah. No, I wasn't though. Yes, you was. Yo, this is yo. Listen, this, now you're gonna make me listen, listen. Let me tell you how to fight. Let me tell you how to fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go that. Hold on. Hands ready to to the to to. I got find title for that shit. Let me tell you. Now I got. You was crying. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Let me show you. Let me tell you how fire the big homie show is. That's the problem. Yo, egghead nigga, shut the fuck up. I'm talking. Let me show you how fire the angry fan. I'm the angry fan. The big homie show is. You was right. I, angry I, fan I, show. Go ahead. I'll, I'll come at myself. This is how fire my show is. The big homie show. Like, I'm not exempt. You know what I'm saying? If I did something crazy or, did, or, or I'll come at myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to give you a, I'm gonna give you a, a tidbit. Watch my, I watch this interview be used in a blog or something. Watch. Haters is going to use this to the highest, hey, highest bro, degree. What you doing right now? But you, you, you did cry that night. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You asked me to answer, so I answered. We, bro, I'll pull the blog up right now while we on the live and show it. Nah, you ain't got to do that. Cause I remember calling hey, you. I remember oh. shut the fuck up. I remember calling you. I said, "Yo, I said I, I said, tried to get props because there was you. I understood where you was coming from, right, my right, nigga." And I said, when, when I called you the, and I called you on the phone, I said, "Yo, my voice is hoarse and I'm fucked up. It sounds like I'm I'm fucking like fucking weeping and shit." He was like, "Nah, don't worry. We gonna still do the interview." I was like, "All right, as long as you know my voice is fucked up." Your voice was fucked up, but you was crying. That's what you were asking me. You're not talking about your voice. Your voice was fucked up, but you were still crying. Put the crying emojis on um, everybody in the chat. Put the crying emojis and shit for, for Depot and shit. Yeah, it's, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, yo, I'm a punk. Someone punched me in the face. I'm crying. It was a, yo, I'm running the league. Shit is going left. Niggas is coming at my brand. It, it was that kind of crying. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to just walk away from this shit. Was that kind of crime? Right, now you want to explain it after you said some other shit when I was sounding like I'm so. What? Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, then you asked me a question. I answered it. You and, said, "Was well, you crying?" You was. And, any anyway, anyway. That's why. Next. Anyway, let me ask you this question. Put you on the spot. Since I put myself on the spot, I'm gonna put you on the spot. <laughs> Why everybody? Why every host that you had on Angry Fans Radio left disgruntled? Okay. 
They ain't getting no look service. They ain't getting no service package. They, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, fuck okay. this nigga. He's a weirdo. Get him the okay. fuck out of here. We're going to get rid of this nigga. Why did everybody leave? Yeah. How is nigga going to get rid of me and then leave at the same time? That don't even make sense. What are you talking about? Nigga, everybody, every host you ever had on Angry Fan Radio left. Disgruntled. Fuck caps. We out of here. I'm bent my own shit. Cause he do no. this, this, that, and the third and shit. You are you a micromanager. You are fucking a no. uh, 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 fucking. Cr- no. Come on. Look. We let a man Timbo. I already broke down what happened with them. It really came from when that whole uh, 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 Tim let Caustic on. It really came from that shit. Like they from there started PSA radio. So I have nothing to say other besides that. That's the only thing I can think about. You know what I'm saying? As far as Wayne went, she was the official okay. host. She was what? Huh? What? I'm sorry, say it again. As far as Wayne goes, because she was the the uh, official co-host, that was totally different from the three letter man situation. It wasn't like he was beating over the show and no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So that was it was just some other shit at the end of the day. I don't know. I think it worked out for her to be real shoot because she throwing the vent, so shout out to her for that. You know what I'm saying? Tony growing up, see, I never said this shit right here, right? Oh shit! Exclusive, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Hey, they, they watch me wrong, nigga. Right. You know, Tony Bronin was gonna leave before the whole. Well, Tony was gonna leave the whole Black Ice situation. Mm-hmm. When I, I went back at Black Ice, yes. right, once, and he we, came back. We gonna get to that too, but go ahead. Um, what the fuck show was it? We had the Discord show. I forgot that shit was so long ago, bro. Damn, man. I forgot. I know we did. We had the Discord show. And I think Rome had took some of it. I don't know for sure who took some of it. I don't know, man. All I know is that Tony Broad came by my crib. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, he wanted fifty percent of Angry Fans Radio. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, no. Like straight up, I was like, no, because I felt like, like, boom. Yeah, you've been on the show for the last year or two, but I, I kind of just felt like, like, bro, this, these followers is not here because he was here. See what I'm saying? So once I said no, I already knew they was going to dip. It's not like that shit caught me off guard. I've never told nobody that shit. Did you? I never told did, you didn't feel like Tony Bro put in that work because he put in a lot of work over there. At Angry fans made radio to make it what it is. Let's keep it a hundred for fifty percent. Of Angry Fan Radio, the Angry Fan brand. Brand. I mean, I mean, Angry Fan, like the Angry, Angry Fan Radio, Angry Fan Radio. Okay, make it, spe- make it specific. The brand or the, or the show. Like, what what is it? YouTube page. What is it? YouTube page. What is it? Like, he want to get paid, nigga. So, what what do you want fifty percent of? Be specific. I don't know. I know he said he wanted fifty percent of what he's making. Like, nah. Nah, we wasn't making shit back then. Nah, I was giving him like two hundred a month. He would come on. We didn't have shows whoa, every day. Whoa, 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 whoa! We didn't ask you to disclose any money that. We, but since you're here, go ahead. Hey, ain't nobody ever paid nobody doing radio shows. Let's not get stupid now. Niggas got paid. Fuck with me now. So Tony Bro was the first person to get paid, or you been paid? You've been, you been paying niggas. No, paid. Okay. Was she getting paid too more than Tony? Was she getting paid more than Tony, bro? Mind you, we not making money, bro. We making, was he, we not making money. Was she getting paid more than Tony, bro? Is what I'm asking you, sir. Nah, we getting paid the same. Okay. Okay. We making money like that, bro. Okay, got you. Five six hundred dollars. Okay. And you kept. Who we talking? So, so he he got two, and you kept the three. Kept blogging and not even did that. And kept everything. Okay. Let's, let's not forget that part. Go ahead. So you ain't gonna never give any piece of your brand to anybody you come across. Feel like that's putting in work, bro. I pay. I pay Wayne every month. I pay uh, uh Tony Bro every month. Was getting paid. I pay Die when Die was the co-host. Same shit. We that. not make it like that for me to even do that shit. I'm doing that shit because I like battle rap. 
Why, why, why did you say that crazy shit to Black Ice online, man? Why? Pull some of these other shows up and ask these niggas do they pay their calls and shit like that. I'm pretty I sure they don't. They don't. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm, I'm the first. Oh, no, 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 that's, that that's bullshit. I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm, bull, that's bull, I'm the first nigga. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because what's the only brand like that? Wasn't War Report paying people? War Report. I have no. I don't know. What you asking me for? I'm just telling you. Oh, you say that because they fell apart, though. Who fell apart? The, you said the War Report. Oh no, no, I thought you meant Bad Rap Nina. Oh. The war point, I don't know what they was doing over there. I was, what the hell am I supposed to know? Okay, so you don't know, nigga. Don't assume that you're the only radio show that was paying motherfuckers. Nigga, every fan's radio came before the war report. What are you talking about? Did you forget that? Yeah, but they were still they still existed, so that you don't know if they were paying people or not. Person to pay niggas and I came before them, then what are you talking about? Man, fuck all that. Answer that question. Answer that question. Now, answer, listen, answer that question I asked you about black guys. Why did you talk to black guys that crazy? You was going to get your head put on tilt. My bad, black guys. John Doe was looking for you, sir. He wasn't. was looking for me. He was going to record you. He was going to record you while you put, it, your head, put your head on tilt. You understand what I'm saying? You was talking crazy. Okay. And he was not looking for me. No, he wasn't. But... My bad to black guys. Yo. That's the embarrassing, man. That was a fucked up show. I'm going I'm to ask you this. This is crazy. You're going to look at this and you're going to be bugging. You might want to get off, off this show after I tell you this shit. Because you're going to be like, yo, Debo, that's, a, that's crazy that you thought about what? that. The top, the, 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 the four top bloggers at, the, at, at that earlier point in time, let's say five. I would say to me, you, J Black, Chris, Vada, and Piper Boy, right? This, this bit, hang with me, hang with me on that. Just hang with me on this. This is my high feel. If you notice, I don't, to me, all of y'all at a level where y'all getting money, y'all successful in the blogging battle rap world and all that, right? If you notice, tragedy actually happened to all five of y'all in a way to whereas. Y'all had to go through adversity to get to where y'all at now. Mm. You, you, the car accident, Jay Black, mm. the Tech Nine thing, Chris, obviously the, the the situation where we went to jail, Piper Boy, the situation with you know saying with the wife and all that shit or whatever, and Vada, the Kenny Lewis thing and shit like that, or all that shit where they try to cancel them and get the fuck out of here. If you notice, all five of y'all got through the storm and, you know what I'm saying, picked up after that and became very successful in the blogging battle rap world. You see where I'm going for right here? Mm -hmm. So do you feel like those tragedies, unfortunately, put y'all on a map where a lot of cats couldn't really go through those storms? Because there's a lot of bloggers out here that's saying, oh, I'm only getting 300 views. I'm only getting like 700 something views and shit like that. But y'all actually, people actually seen y'all five go through shit on camera, like right there. Like, oh shit, we're actually seeing y'all world, you know what I'm saying, being put out there on camera. Like everybody's speaking about it on blogs, social media, every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How did it feel for you? Let's just say for you. You only speak for you, obviously. But I'm going to ask these gentlemen when I have them on the show, because I'm going to have all of them on the show. At least I'm going to try to. How did it feel, like, after your accident, did you want to quit this shit? And you was doing the Debo shit? Yo, man, I'm going to quit this shit. Fuck that shit, my nigga. This shit over. <laughs> or... I'm asking you, did you feel like you wanted to quit this shit? Quit this shit? Nah, nigga. <laughs> I, yo, bro, I wasn't thinking about those goddamn battle rap, nigga. They go going to amputate my arm. Are you crazy, son? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about battle rap. That's why I wasn't watching no battle. I told, I, I made it very clear. I was not watching battles that year in the hospital. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I made it very clear about that. Like, But, um... That's an interesting point you just made. And then Battle Rap has the worst, like, the worst fans in all reality. 
Mm-hmm. You know, they be getting dragged. So it's just like, yeah, all five of us, yeah. I remember they even came at Jay Blacks. They were trying to say he knew about Tech Nine, and we got like the worst fans in a sense, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? That butterfly Kenny Lewis shit though. I rock with Butter now. He's cool now, but back then I ain't like that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Right. I ain't like that shit at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? The reason why is because it was like, yo, bro, I remember when no one I remember you was in the unbiased group first getting the buzz up. Then you started rocking with J Black. When he was rocking with J Black, he didn't even have a thousand followers. I remember J Black was like literally saying in his videos, Y'all follow Butterfly. Help him get to a thousand followers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I was looking at like, yo, why is this nigga helping bloggers? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to all like, like, get it out the mud and whatnot. I never understood it, so that's the reason why I, I really didn't fuck with Vada like that. Okay. Because I remember seeing Jay Black saying, "Y'all subscribe to Vada Fly." You see what I'm saying? Right. Because but now he's a hater. Got you. Because you was a why hater. Because you always a hater. Don't worry about it. You, you good. Um. I ain't got too much time, but I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm go out with this. This is what I definitely want to know. You got enough time as I want. Fuck are you talking about? If I want an hour and a half. You better sit there and give it to me. Would you pause? Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm getting off it. I'm getting the live now. I'm getting the now. Nah, we ain't doing all that. I'm getting the live now. Yo, everybody, put pause on the chat, please. Put pause in the oh. chat for this man. He's wilding. Yo, what up? How do you feel about the bloggers today? The blogging today, wow, let's talk about it. Yeah. Oh. On one hand, you have the spaces. You have the spaces, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of a lot of shit come from the spaces, it seems like. What I'm kidding. It's dying down now, but that shit, is, it's a form of blogging because now what people are doing are they're recording the spaces and, and creating YouTube channels and uploading them. So what people don't understand is we have like a hundred, a thousand new bloggers now. Just off a recording of their phone up on the YouTube. They haven't dropped one real blog in their life. You have no clue who they are. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of weird to me because back in the day, we, we had to show your face to be a blogger, bro. Now it's just like a bunch of screen recordings up on YouTube and shit. So that's kind of weird to me. Um, I'll be honest, this whole URL shit, like, It's, I don't know, bro. It's, it's kind of weird to be honest with you, man, because it's like, if you don't have the app, you really out the fucking loop of what's going on, to be honest with you, but I got the app, and it's still like, whatever. This shit is kind of crazy now, man. It's, it's, a, it's a war, it kind of seemed like, what's going on. Between URL and RBE, it seems like there's a war, and it plays a part in what's going on in the battle right now, how they dropping shit, I feel like. Who, who you think, who you think can win in the war? Who you think is winning the war between RBE and URL? I, honestly, I feel like I feel like this honestly, bro. You know what I'm saying? The only way you can actually beat URL is to as to have better events than period to out battle. Obviously, you can't, you can't do it with the history shit. You know what I'm saying? Smack go back way too far. URL put in too much work. URL don't even use their YouTube channel. They following is way crazy than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And they, while they sitting back and can just create battles and create, bro, we done seen Lux and Surf. Mm. I be sitting. Wondering how much that battle costs Lux and Surf alone. You know, not pocket washing, but you know that wasn't cheap right there. They're throwing hundred thousand dollar battles, they're throwing tournaments, they're throwing events every week, every other week. It's hard to be an entity like that that's already number one. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So in terms of who's winning, it's gonna be real hard for it for RBE to like to literally pass URL. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I feel like URL would have to stop. And RB will have to keep pushing for years and years and years. Number wise, I'm talking number wise. Now, as far as throwing good battles and shit, I feel like RBE kind of did a better job than that uh, than URL at that. Right. URL put a name and for the back and forth, which be dope. But URL throw some old unorthodox. I mean, uh, RBE throw an unorthodox battle. I feel like that would be fire that no one else would even come up with. So it depends on how you look at it. But it's, it's it's hard to say RBE is gonna pass URL number one and shit like that. But they've been doing they don't. I feel like RBE kind of won already, bro. Because niggas be looking at it like, yo, uh, okay, he was there. 
he was just watching from the ground up. But when you turn when you turn around and look at the situation, he's thrown mad battles, mad classic battles with decent names. He's, he's revived people's careers. Mm-hmm. He's like, I know you hate, I know you anti RBE and shit, but we don't no, be real. No, 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 I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You know what I'm saying? But he's definitely done a lot no, no, for no, battles. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Let, me, let me explain to you, sir. It's not that I'm anti RBE. Because I yes, want to no, just shut up. I'm talking. I want the battle rappers to win, no matter what platform they're on, which is dope. You understand what I'm saying? I just, okay. have, I just have a situation with, you know, said said person that you just said. I'm still blocked to this day. I don't know why these niggas hate me. Norbs talks about me on his show. Shout out to him. Shout, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. But they have a problem with me. I don't know what it is, sir. You get on like Twitter. I don't even get on Twitter no more. Like yo, you used to disgust me on Twitter. Like you would literally get on Twitter out the blue and just take a shot at at ARP or bloggers or just whatever. And it's just like yo, what the like? What are we talking about? He probably had a reason to block you, especially once you kept saying yeah, he created over RBE. He was doing all that. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, before you ask me, shout out to Leo V. Shout, hold on. My, I'll, I'll, I'll mute you, nigga. I'll, I'll mute you. Shout do you still feel like the rain okay. over RBE? Shout out to Leo V. He said at one time, grind time was a threat to URL. Agree? Question mark. There was competition for sure. Definitely hey, competition. Well, right, number one. See, I know what you're doing, but we're not doing that. No, I'm going to answer the question, but I got, I got, I got the super chat before it goes away. URL, so Grind Time can't be a threat to URL. They was niggas who was on top. You know what I'm saying? That URL was just uh, was first starting. So if anything, we'll be backwards. And I don't know why Grind Time died officially. Don't but... ever disrespect my friends at URL. You understand what I'm saying? I'll anyway, be, I'll knock URL you out. Have to believe, if Grind Time had kept going, URL would have really. Uh... See, URL took conceited. They took. They took so many battles. They didn't take them. Like, I mean, obviously, they went there on some freelance and shit, but Conceded, Cortez, Arsenal battled over there before. Right. Ah, whatever. But let's get back to you. Do you feel like Queen of the Ring is above RBE? I feel like... I I, I feel because like, that, I, has been, that has been the main shit you've been saying to ARP this entire fucking time, even going back to the Queens Flip interview. So, do you still feel like currently, right now, y'all are the number three league or number two league or however the fuck you want to do it? Do you feel like you're above URL? Uh, 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 RBE? Yeah, I'm listening. I am fucking listening. I want to hear this. Shit. I feel like I'm above all them niggas in a female battle rap category. Let's go. We're doing that. We're not doing that. We're not. That's that's cool. Cool old team. You tried. You tried. That's not gonna fly over here. You always kept it. You're over RBE. Do you still feel like that? I'm in a different oh. lane. No, that's, that's hard to no. gauge because I'm I'm in the female battle rap business. Man, you always went by we the number three league. I don't care about none of that shit. You always went by we the number three league. Do you still feel like you over RBE? Obviously, to you're answer, not. To, I'm answer, right to now. answer your question, yes. Yes. So, yes, nigga. Tell me, tell me why. Because, because I, because we are, we're a model. We're, we're, me why? Because we're a legacy brand. And that's it. We're a legacy you brand, and we have, people, we, have class, we have classics. Listen, we have classics that nobody has. True. You understand what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, anybody could get those male battles if you got money and shit like that. I, me and my partners created something from the mud. You understand what I'm saying? Like, create those female battles that you. It's hard to do. Every other brand tried to. From URL, King of the Die, RBE. You know what I'm saying? They only had very few female classics. We had them all. You could go back to my back catalog. I can go versus for anybody who want to do a female battle rap catalog. I could do that and win, hands down, with any of those leagues. They could bring yeah, but that's in the ring. Battle. You only book female battles. So that's easy. Duh. Obvious. So, duh. So I'm in a different lane. But the same way you say you got classes if, over there, if, if you, RBE if, had classes and you are also, you don't feel like that? If you want to go Wikipedia-wise, like what's on the net and Google, they're going to say Queen of the Ring, they're going to say URL, they're going to say King of the Dot. Respectfully speaking, I haven't seen them say no other league. And I'm not saying just go Wikipedia, anybody can edit and do shit, but obviously to the masses, 
to the masses, they're going to be like Queen of the Ring is a big legacy brand. I have people still stopping me in the street to this day telling me how Queen of the Ring done changed their lives and they never seen a URL battle ever in their life or, or King of the Dot battle, so on and so forth, but they watch Queen of the Ring. You understand what I'm saying? We bring a whole different gender. I'm not RB. Let, me, what do you let, me, let me speak. We bring a whole different gender and a whole different eco economy to this whole shit. There was nothing mm-hmm. but dudes going to battle rap joints. Talk about about it. It. We came to Queen of the Ring. We brought Queen of the Ring. We brought a whole a slew of ladies coming out to purchase tickets, buy merchandise, and all that, and the LTGB community as well. That's true. Damn, that's true. You understand what I'm saying? That's so come on. Oops, Facebook is always and, lit. And let's keep it hundred. Shout out to URLs, my guys. But at the end of the day, every time they put a female battle on there for the past two, three years, the females been turning up and being the best battles on that fucking card. They just had a two one two in New Orleans, and that was the best battle on the card. So why so why don't y'all have these battles? Why are they have no other leagues not on Queen of the Ring? Ah, good question. Now I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it a hundred, because me and you will always keep it a hundred with each other. You know what I'm saying? It's, listen, they prices be crazy to the point where we can't even pay for those fucking battles, which is cool. So I stick to the mantra of saying this. I'm just proud that they got there, that they getting that bag. Because if I can't give it to them, somebody can. You understand what I'm saying? I'm never going to uh, uh, avoid that. Because my thing is bigger than Queen of the Ring. My thing is, my objective, if you will, was put female battle rap on the map, whether it be us or somebody else. I can't be mad. Let's say RBE, okay, such and such, boom, boom, boom. Get such and such, whatever, whatever. Secretly behind the door, I'm like, Man, fuck that nigga. No, no, no. So, all right, cool. But I'm going to be happy about that. Because it can be twofold. I'm going to still be happy for the battle rapper getting the bag wherever they go. But I'm, you know what I'm saying, probably not going to like where they did the damn battle rap. I prefer them to do a Queen of the Ring. I've always always said that i've always answered that question i prefer to be here but if i can't get it get the bag do your thing that's why nobody could be mad at me back in the days yeah i was i was on a rampage and shutting everybody down but now you know what I'm saying it's a different deep i have to reinvent myself and speak with the like, times you still like that i'm so, a little bit but not as much because you know why bro what's up you blocking battles but do you feel bad for doing that back in the day let me, you, let, me you, let me tell you some asshole. This is my interview. You know what I'm saying? I'm interviewing you, not the other way around. Like, no, no, no. Hold on. As far as you blocking battles back in the day, do you feel like you had to do what you had to do because of the community we in? Or do you feel like, well, like, what's up? You feel bad for it or what? I'm going to answer that question. But shout out to Leo V. He said, Queen of the Ring roster is stronger than RBE roster. 40 bars official. Jazz QB will be Rosenberg. Oh, Ooh. Okay, cool. Nah, but see, nah, he said that is QB. They're not Queen of the Ring. Who's not Queen of the Ring? He's not a battle rapper. They're not Queen of the Ring. Who's not Queen of the Ring? Who? Jazz is Queen of the Ring? Yo, let me tell you something. I'm going to keep it so 100 with you. Let's say Jazz comes out of her mouth. Let's say nothing. It's Jazz Queen of yeah, the Ring. Yes, yes. Yes. You know why? Because I'm the one who discovered her. And she came to Queen of the Ring and started in Queen of the Ring. She reps URL. What about rep? What? She, you, know, you know what she reps? Let me tell you something. You know what she reps? She reps big. She, hold on. She reps big bag jazz. Wherever that bag is, she going to be there. She just battled in our society. Shout out to Kells and, and what's not. She battled with Lou in our society and did a one rounder. She's not out here running around saying, yo, I rep URL and that's what I never heard her say no crazy shit like that. And if that, at the end of the day, it wouldn't even matter to me because she know where she came from. Every time she says something, just like you said back then, every time she, she says where she came from or whoever discovered her, she says my name all the time. There is no static. You just sat here and told me all my co-hosts be leaving me flat. All right, so now you got females who used to come from Queen of the Ring and don't fuck with you no more. It's the same I, shit. I ain't so gonna, like, what are you doing home. wrong? I ain't gonna hold you. This is the best interview I've done out of all the what interviews. What are you wrong? This is fire. Now, as far as 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 far as I'm leaving and shit, I can't see watching. As as far as you can see me, how many people watching? Oh, like fu- like six hundred. This is gonna. That's it. Nah, yeah, you fucking my. Nah, nah, nigga, you ain't never get these numbers. Knock it off. 
crazy. You know, knock it off. We ain't never get these numbers. Anyway, before I get before I was really interrupted, you know what I'm saying? You could say they quote unquote left, but that's not necessarily the truth and shit like that. At the end of the day, they going for a bigger bag. Yo, listen, if I can't if I can't afford if I, if they outprice me to the point where I can't what you call it, then that's cool. I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? So, so hold on, so let, me, let me tell you something. I say let me tell you something. Are going for a bigger bag. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. Not for nothing, which is crazy. What you don't know is I can make a phone call and actually get those same people you're speaking about to come back. And that sound good. Because for for a fact, like a, they say, like a forty ball. She's she's hold on. She just she gets just as much money as those names that you mentioned. But she came back. You know what I'm saying for for uh, for for uh, for her um you know for the brand that she primarily is on all the time and whatnot. So at the end of the day, if I want to call certain girls to get them back and be like, yo, listen, can you do it for they'll do it. Like, all right, I got you, boom, boom, bam, pow. I just haven't done it because at the end of the day, I have nothing to like put together to want to have to do that. But oh, since you yeah. said that, hold on, hold on. Oh, since you said but since you, you since, all up. Since your nut ass said that shit, I got something just to let y'all know. October 29th, I got what? something coming out. I got, I, we got a fire event. Shout out to Babs. We got a fire oh, event October 29th. Hey, Debo, man. How you feel about Chrome 23? Like, like what like, what we doing, bro? I know you cool with Remy. All that cool. She jumped into your lane. What we doing, bro? How you honestly feel, man? I don't feel no way about it. Bro, don't hit me with the political, uh, 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 yo, I want everybody to win. No, the fuck you don't. You know what I'm saying? You are pissed off that Remy came and keep it real. I like how you do the assumption thing to make me make it seem as if the narrative is I was pissed off. I like that. I like that. But you, do that you do shots on Twitter. I seen it. You think I didn't see it? I seen it. More than once. Don't make that fucking face, bro. More than once. What shots, More than once. What shot you hamburger help ass nigga? What shots I threw out? What shots? Right. See? After, let me, let me, after let me, her got let Yo, me you don't run your fucking Twitter and try to leak that shit now. Never mind. Go to, ahead. To the, to the big homie fans that's watching, he's doing what they call posturing. You know what I'm saying? He's making a, he's creating a, a world as if what he's saying is true. You understand what I'm saying? That's how witty angry fan is. This is what he does on his live to get all these niggas to talk crazy. Because this is what this, this is when what you people see it. This is what y'all haven't noticed. Like out like a half an hour ago. This is done turned to the angry fan show. He done turned try to turn the big homie show into the angry fan show. He's doing his live right now. He think he's he think he's smart. I know what he's doing, but I'm allowing him to do it because it makes for good TV. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to the angry fan show, man. But this is a big hey, homie show. Man, like, like what? Why the fuck? All right, boom. You had you up, bro. You had Queen of the Ring. Is it is it is it a lack of female battle rappers that slowed y'all down? Yes. Like why were you able to keep and I ain't trying to play you at all. Of course. But like not. why I don't know how you give it up? At some point Queen of the Ring got stagnant. What happened? It's a lack Y'all going of... fucking war at one point. I was the only blogger blogging on Queen of the Ring battles. Right. But if I forget that, right. what happened when y'all got stagnant? Was it the money? Was it like what was I'm gonna I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you. I always consider Queen of the Ring like Wu Tang Clan. We came all came out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like King of the Ring was hot at the time. That's what made me and Vague hot. You know what I'm saying? King of the Ring was doing this thing, and then we switched off to do Queen of the Ring, and then we brought Babs in. Let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, I know, but let me finish. You gotta hear the story. Let me finish. Then we brought Queen. Of, then we brought Queen of the Ring. We brought Babs in and shit like that. And then I started finding all the talent. So with the talent, along with the brand, we was all getting hot together. You understand what I'm saying? So Queen of the Ring was making that name. So understandably, these girls are going to want more money to do they want too. Not all of them, but some, you know what I'm saying, which is deservingly so. So I found different places to get that form. Okay, we're going to do it here. We're going to do it damn near like a manager. I damn near, you know what I'm saying? You could damn near say it's a conflict of interest. But like I said, my objective was to help the ladies win as well as my brand. I could always bring more talent in. As long as the jazz, the rappers, the 40 bars, the officials, the E-Hearts, so on and so forth, get a bigger plate and a bigger bag and all that, which is dope. That's why I fuck with. It's on them now to to secure their bags. Now, what's my job is to go find more talent. Mm-hmm. I caught lightning in a bottle in 2010, 2014. That's when all the, I was just catching fire. And mind you, none of these girls battle rap, not one time. 
except probably like E Hart and the battle off off camera in the street. But none of them battled. They was all music artists or they just rap somewhere. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I said, no, you're a battle rapper. You're battling next month. And we caught lightning in the bottle. Now, I ain't do it all. It's those girls' pen that did what, the, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, the other half of the work. You know what I'm saying? The Farrah Funerals, the Sheena Astley's, the officials, the the, the, the Jazz, the e Hearts, the 40 Bars, the Duchess, the uh, uh, Norma Bates, uh, Dawn Ladies, it's Star Girl Lady Reds. You know what I'm saying? I could keep going. I could keep going. Couture, you know what I'm saying? I could keep going. That it's their entertainment value that made help make Queen of the Ring what it is. It's me busting my ass going to this league, that league that would show my face, or this place and that place to make, you know what I'm saying, say, yo, he's a representative of Queen of the Ring. He's right there all the time. He's in your face. You understand what I'm saying? Babs and Vague being the host. I think they the number they like the top three hosts in battle rap. Give it up for the ladies is the biggest fucking um the biggest phrase in battle rap. One of the biggest phrases. Other than you know what I'm saying? You got and give it up for the ladies. You can't okay. beat that. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And then and then after that, we just I just found the link to to correspond with URL to do events with them and shit like that every now and then. And that's what it is. It's trying to keep the brand hot. You understand? But well, to answer your question, it is a lack of talent because there's not a slew of women out here getting busy and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And that's no fault to them. It's just that look at the lives that they're leading. They got families. They got uh, 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 things of, of, of that they shit that they're doing and whatnot and shit. Like women, women go through well, more, women go through more shit than niggas do. They don't have that ample time that niggas do have it on their hands to fucking write and do a whole bunch of other shit when these niggas is leaving babies in their doorstep. When you was first finding females, they had them same issues. So what's the... I don't get it. Still issues to this day, like I said, it's not a slew of women talent. But I see there's a lot coming up. It's just about curating. That's all it is. It's about curating and creating a lane to whereas they're being seen consistently. That was always our problem is the consistency. But it wasn't out of laziness. It was putting everything together on who's matching up with who. So I can't match up, say... Uh, respect to Rock Lee, I like her, she's yeah. dope. I can't put a Rock Lee against a Dawn Lady. You know what I'm saying? Dawn Lady gonna want cuckoo buck for that and shit like that. So I gotta put a Rock Lee with a uh, 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 who, whoever that's out right now, like a J Love or whatever. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Coffee. That's the thing that's helping us right now, put all those things together. We just we just had um uh, uh, the scrimmage series with Queen's Court. Fire event. We got to do more of those. So now that's on me to get off my ass and be like, okay, matchups, matchups, matchups. Who can we get? Who can we get? And not for nothing, not to be funny, to enter the capital off, Queen of the Ring is still revered to this day. I don't give a fuck how many, um, what you call it, we haven't done. I'm still in the streets and people still be like, yo, Queen of the Ring, Queen, I love you. Because you know why? Because we made moments in time where people can go back to those battles and be like, I remember I was here when I watched this. I remember I was in the building when such and such said this to this female battle rapper. We created reality in, in, of, of women's battle rap right in front of your eyes. you seen a whole story in front of you. You've seen three self-made motherfuckers create something in front of you out of nowhere. Respect to say King of the Dots and the RBEs and all that and, the, and URLs. One thing is, if I had the pockets and if I wanted to, I could I can get crazy and make a crazy mail card right now. I could say, Caps, I got 500K right now, nigga. Let's put a card together with dudes. And we'll be them next niggas. We'll be like Captain Debo, um, Captain Debo League. That's what we'll call it. We'll be them next niggas that everybody have to worry about because they feel like, oh, they got money. Oh, we in trouble now. They got money. They can get Arsenal. They can get uh, Geechee. They can get such and such. Whoever's not under a contract, we'll be them niggas. Try to do that shit with female battle rap, though. Because it's, mm-hmm. it's not all about the pockets with female battle rap. It's not. It's not. It's never been. I'm never going to get my secret sauce as to why, how how we made it work for us in, in, in women's battle rap. That's just what we do. We love, just like how you love battle rap, we love women's battle rap that fucking much to care about it. If we was up and going today, this shit would suffer. I don't care what nobody say. Say I'm lying. Yeah. Say I'm lying. Ring was a 50 to shut down today. No more Queen and Ring battles. You think battle rap would suffer? No, female battle rap. Oh, of course, yeah, female, yeah. Yeah. Stop, All right, so what are we doing now? Stop putting Gwitty on your show. That's what we're doing right now. No, no. Gwitty, you want to be my battles.
What happened? Gwitty get more views in your battles. He probably do, man. Shout out to Gwitty, man. Low, low, blow. I know. I you should know. you should have helped him get on um Hitman Holler show, man. What happened? Yeah. Super low blow. Back to you. Yo, man. I'll call you next month. Yeah, see how next month is. See All how right. Month. All right. So listen, before and, I go. I'll call you next month. Before before I go, your 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 blogger Mount Rushmore, real fast. Blogger Mount Rushmore? Me. Yeah. For you. Black. Black. This Me, Jay Black. So you saying Mount Rushmore. Yeah. You yeah. gotta understand there's a lot that comes into that, B. There's a lot that comes into that. Because if I'm gonna be honest with the situation, right? I would honestly say no hating shit. Me, Jay Black, Chris, damn, you still got Piper boy. But then I feel a kind of way because Vada got more sub than niggas. Mm-hmm. So you really can't, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then I feel a kind of way because, like I said before, Battle came on the scene by himself and we started tearing shit up. Mm-hmm. We did our own thing our own way. So it's like, it's Mount all, Rush. It's all about who's changing the culture, man. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to taint your, 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 what you call, I'm going to let you do it on your own. But go ahead. You said you, Jay Black. Mm-hmm. Chris I'm biased. I'm, no, you well, said you, no, no, you said I'm you, one. Jay Black, and Piper Boy. That's what you said. I'm number one. <laughs> well, Jay Black is number one. Jay Black is number one. Jay Black is number one. Jay Black. Number Chris number three. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question. When you say Mount Rushmore, right? Like boom. This whole situation with Chris in the rape situation, right? Boom. Does that take away from what he did? And I'm not even saying he's guilty. I'm asking. I was gonna give you one back, but I'm gonna really answer that question because I was gonna say, does it does music, great music that R. Kelly did take away from what he's done? But mm-hmm. this is the thing: R. Kelly was actually convicted and all that, right? Mm-hmm. Chris, even if he got convicted, let's say Chris. Hypothetically, got convicted. Did that take away what he did? Yeah, I'm, not doing, face I'm not doing. I'm not doing. From, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not doing hypotheticals. I know how to separate the work, the out, the uh, the workload Chris did um, from oh. the personal situation that's going on. Because to be honest with you, I'm not one of those motherfuckers that give two fucks about what's going on in his personal life and shit. That's on him. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? If he did, he did. If he didn't, he didn't. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a stupid motherfucker for doing it. You know what I'm saying? If he didn't, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That that that's being put on his jacket. So at the end of the day, you can still do your Mount Rushmore, sir. I'm saying so. If that's the case, then it's gonna be me, Jay Black, Chris, four four. Piper Boy, Vada, and Piper Boy and Vada fly. I want to say Piper Boy because he started from the ground up and he had a channel bleeder on top of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Vada. Kind of, he had, Vada had help from Jay Black and kept pushing. That don't mean nothing, though. What you mean? He could still put work in the culture to be considered a great. Yeah, but I'm over Piper Boy? Jordan got Jordan, Jordan, Jordan went okay. off of battle rap and still got fifty thousand followers. Jordan, right? Jordan couldn't have Jordan, Jordan couldn't win no win those rings if it wasn't for Scottie Pippen being on that team, bro. An assist is an assist, but you're still great because you're great. It is to start from the ground up with no subscribers and build your shit up versus you being cool with someone and and they're helping you get your subscribers up. If that's the stipulation, then I understand. But are we making that a stipulation? Because great is great, no matter what help you got. Bro, I'm not saying Vada's not great, but Pipe Boys. So Pipe Boys. So you're saying Vada's better than Pipe Boys? How about saying. this? How about this analogy? There's many independent artists that are considered legends and great, right? That did it from the mud. Are we gonna take away Biggie because he got put on by Puff? I'm not taking away what Vada did. I'm talking, but we got, bro. We gotta be honest here. Bro. But you're talking about a put on. What? What? What is that? What? What does it matter of a put on if the man well, is still the, doing great things? But from zero subscribers. And worked his way all the way up to fifty thousand subs. That is way harder to do. So you saying than, you saying you saying you saying being part of J, you saying being part of J, you saying being part of Jay Black situation is what got Vada there. That's what you saying. Hell yeah, that helped to get him there. What? 
Are you crazy? So you mean after the Kenny Lewis thing? So after, let's say he was at like let's 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 round about ten k subscribers. After the Kenny Lewis thing and shit, and everything was detached, and there was no more Jay Black and none of that. You trying to say? You trying to say? You trying to say the 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 60 k um um subscribers are only there because he was down with Jay Black? What I'm saying? Because now you're not, not, not even swine this too. I'm not saying we're gonna we're gonna praise Jay Black for what Vada did after the Kenny Lewis situation. No, that was all Vada right there. I'm talking about how it started. When it comes to this YouTube shit, it's how it started. Let me tell you something. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying that because I'm being. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I'm being fair because at the end of the day, Chris unbiased could say you sprung board off off a of, um unbiased review, my nigga. He could, but he can't because I was the first nigga there who was going crazy anyway. So you can't say that. I didn't use him to come up. Where my untold truth? You never gave me no interview. I did it myself. What are you talking about? I even left his group. What are you talking about? I did it myself. Okay, so who you putting as your fourth? It's me, it's Jay Black, it's Chris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, boy. There we go. Okay. It's me because Vada's doing his thing. That's actually a congratulations to 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 Vada Fly to be honest with you, bro. Because Vada's definitely going, ah, right, this is he said Mount. You gotta understand you saying Mount Rushmore right now. You saying Mount Rushmore. Yeah, four people on Mount Rushmore. It gotta be Piper Boy, bro. Okay. It gotta be. I'm not arguing Piper. with you. That's cool. That's your Mount Rushmore. It gotta be. It gotta be. Now, now that I actually think about it, Vada wasn't even around. So it was just like, yo, niggas is really punning work, blogging every day. Piper Boy is the first one to go live. There's a lot, a lot of shit involved with that. I would think Piper Boy. Okay. Not a problem. If you said. Who's the top blog is the top four blog is right now. I'm saying that right now. I'm saying that, that shit right now. Different. Okay, well, I'm saying that right now. Who's the top blog is right now? Four. Right get four. now, you would have to say, honestly, me, Jay Black, Piper Boy, and Vitafly. Okay. Now, Chris is doing his thing coming back, but he's not doing the numbers that niggas is doing. And he's, he's, he's blogging here and there when he can in the van and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So he's not, like, really able to even blog the way he used to blog back in the day. I'm going to have Chris Unbias here next week, and we're going to destroy you. You understand what I'm saying? I already, what do you think? I already know that. I'm not. What are you, stupid? You think I don't know that already? What are you doing? I mean, Get him on. I ain't lie about nothing I said, nigga. There was a deep ball, deep ball, deep ball, deep ball. I'm that dude. I changed battle rap. I wish y'all would stop playing, bro. I changed battle rap, bro. Okay. So we gonna keep it all the way real. Let's, let's Who's see. the top? It's fucking me, my nigga. Okay. Like, what are we talking about, so bro? You're the, you're the top blogger. That's what you're saying. Yes. You're still number one. Yes. Yes. Let me ask you a fair, let, me, let me ask you a fair question. When you say when you say that when you say that, let me ask you a fair question. Did Queen of the Ring change battle rap? Hey, all right, hold on, hold on. Jay Black's an analyst. Jay Black's an, see. Jay Black is different, bro, because he does he does champion. It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different. I'm saying me because we talking about blogging. So I'm he's saying not a blogger no more. He's not a blogger no more. He's an analyst. No, he's not. He's not. A, but at the same time, I can't get mad at him because. A motherfucker could sit down and say, okay, Angry Fan, all you do is Instagrams now. And if you're doing Angry Fan today, you're not going to be blogging. Right. You see what I'm saying? Somebody put that shit about me, so. so. Let me ask you a question. Um, you feel, do you feel like Queen of the Ring changed the game in battle rap? Stop asking stupid questions. You only, you, you trying to get, you, you say you trying to get the head gas up. You already know y'all did. What are we talking about? Why are we acting stupid? You already know you did. But. The question isn't, did Queen of the Ring change battle rap? Mm -hmm. The question is, did Queen of the Ring drop the ball in battle rap? Mm -hmm. To the point that mm -hmm. other grab their opponent and no, their talent. Tell you something. And you now think, we go to and be a podcaster and be on Hip Hop is Real mm -hmm. and back on Instagram doing the Breakfast Club mm -hmm. and, and Egg is pouring shots with Rex. 
Yeah, like what's like what's going on? Yo, me and Cash might have to do a show together every once a month. Me, me and Cash might have to do a show once a month, man. This is the best show right here. Me and Cat be going crazy on each other. You know, That's the call. Well, angry fan, angry, angry fan radio is gonna come back. Shout out to you. Hopefully, you won't get no coworkers that's going to leave you again and become big somewhere else. Um, can I just ask you one question? Debo, how many people came out and actually said you owed them money or you was taking money from people and shit? That's no a, one's ever that, said that, that, about that's me. A that's a fact, but those are lies, though. Lies? I'm accountable, I'm accountable for every dollar and every person has been paid. Listen, I got to go because I'm going to get in trouble and shit. I ain't going to go. I know you gotta go. I got things. Good or E hard as somebody call up and say, "Where's the money you owe?" Like, what are we talking about here? The number Let's is not two, get... the number no. is two o three. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing before I go. I gotta go for real. But great, I, I appreciate you being on here. Do me a favor that nobody's ever asked you or you probably never done yourself. Can we see can we see your left arm and how it actually looks and shit and shit like that? Cause you can't roll a joint to save your life. So I just want to see how your arm, your hand look, my nigga. Cause you know, I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? You my guy. We're gonna get you a bionic arm. Cause you go do, 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 do. <laughs> you cock out as a motherfucker. You sit here act like you like you're perfect and shit. You can't even see. You got the biggie eyes. What are we talking about here, bro? Are we snapping? Are we snapping? Well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to see you again. I'm pretty sure you'll be holding smack nuts at the next event, you know, doing what you usually do. Okay, okay. And, uh, okay, well, I'll see you again. And, you know, hopefully you won't be taking uh, $6,000 of fucking fans' money and shit like that with a fucking angry fan t shirts and I'll, shit. Poor, I'll, poor bitch. I'll play. <laughs> Timbo! I was waiting for it. Yo, okay, okay, okay. I like, I like, yo, yo, listen, we, we, no, we good, we good, we good, bro. You was threatening people, you was, why Jazz said you was scamming, you was, bro, because of you, Jazz couldn't even battle in front of Snoop. Don't you feel like shit because of that? You over here taking these girls' money, cutting the fucking money in half and shit like that. Pocketing the shit, and then they air you out. You act like you stutter mouth and shit. Like you don't know what's going on. Actually, none of that shit is true. Um, I, 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 I took no, a, I, no, I, I took, I took a care. Hold on, I took a, hold on. Jack, hold on. Hold on. Because hold on. of you, that hold she on. wasn't on the new show. Hold I'm on. glad you. I took, account, I took accountability for that. So we, we, we good. Me and Jazz is way one hundred good. This kind of game, you did try to get some more money off of Jazz and no, not give it. No, not at all. Cause I didn't get paid for that. I, matter of fact, I exit my way what? out of that situation. Hey, listen, someone back. What listen, are you talking about? Listen, I exit my way out of that situation because I didn't see it conducive for anybody and any party involved. So I said, before it gets any crazier, I'm going fucking exit and I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. With that said, thank you, um, angry fan. You lost. You lost because you still gotta pay back that six thousand of cash, um, cash app money. Nobody got a shirt. Nobody, nobody got a shirt. Nobody went on the vacation that you said you was gonna take them on and shit. The recreation shit. Nobody got that shit. What you did was you paid your rent. Keep it alone, man. You paid, you paid your rent, and that's okay, my nigga. Just keep it a hundred. I can. There's no way I can hit you harder than when Shuni the rapper slapped the chef. There's no. Yo, what the fuck is wrong? Got him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's that's cool. Just like how you, you know what I'm saying? Get, karma's a motherfucker, man, because you got into that car crash with that money you paid for out of the cash app or all the fans and shit. Now look what's going on with you, man. Come on, stop it, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> you're a podcaster now. You went from a legal into a podcaster. What are we really talking about? You're in the graveyard. You're literally in the graveyard right now. I'm helping you out right now. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let out. me ask you a question before I go. For real, let me ask you a question. Who show you like better, Mines or Norbs? Well, do you want the honest answer? 100%. You're going to say Norbs, but go ahead. I have to be honest with you. You don't have your own show. You're on 15 Minutes of Fame. Whereas Norbs has his own show and he's getting it out of the mud. So I have to respect mm -hmm. that more. I like that. Shout out to 15 Minutes of Fame. Those are my peoples. Well, 
See, as far as who show do I watch more? No, I'm just kind of anti URL. I got to keep it all way, bro. You like that yeah. anti URL rhetoric, don't you? Yeah, but then again, you're, you're anti RBE, so ain't no fucking difference. So it's like, I like, you know more than Norbs as far as the working, the, you know what I'm saying? The gist and shit like that. But y'all really the fucking same, bro. You're anti RBE, he's anti URL. You know who's compromised media? That nigga Chris Unbiased. That nigga interviewed two brand new niggas that nobody know who the fuck them niggas is. We's like, he only got 200 views on that motherfucker on together, collectively. He is biased. He is compromised media. I'm going to interview him next week and ask him why he's compromised media for all Why is Chris compromised media? Because I just fucking told you, you nut-ass nigga. I'm getting the fuck out of why? here. I got shit to do. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'll catch you next month. We're going to do this shit once a month, my nigga. You're getting me paid out here. I appreciate you. No doubt. All right, bird neck nigga. Later. Yeah, with that said, man, I'm out of here, man. Shout out to everybody, man. I hope y'all had fun. It's been real. I got shit to do. Big homie show. Talk to y'all soon. Yeah.